Hi beautiful souls, welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Kimiana and this is the Intuitive Soul Tribe. Here we talk about all things manifesting. So yes, law of attraction, law of assumption, mental health. If those are your vibes, welcome. Now, today we are gonna be talking about how to properly manifest a specific person. So make sure you watch all the way till the end so you don't miss out on anything I say in this video, all right? If you guys have not grabbed the Manifest Everything journal and you want more assistance on manifesting faster, this is the journal for you. The link is in the description. It is on Amazon, TikTok, and my shop at simplicitysim.com. So check it out get you one you'll love it let's get into this guys so when it comes to properly manifesting a specific person the only right way is your way I know right like the only right way is your way like I remember when I first was getting introduced to everything related to the law of attraction it was a beautiful soul her name was Gianni and she's a beautiful beautiful soul she was actually my first introduction to uh, anything related to the law of attraction and that was about I think eight years ago maybe seven somewhere around there i'm not good with math guys my math don't be always mathing all right but the point of the matter is uh it was so fascinating it was fascinating it was so fascinating i was like oh my god so you mean to tell me this whole time i can control the events of my life i don't have to work extremely hard to to get what i want i mean like i literally can just want something and get it yeah but it also stressed me out at the same time because I'm like, okay, everything is about the law of attraction, right? Everything is you pushed out, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was I was trying to process all this information. And I'm like, okay, um, wait a minute. So that means that every time I have a negative thought, I'm manifesting negative things. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh my God. So I would freak out. And even though I was reading The Secret and I was watching The Secret and I was doing all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Reading all them Rhonda Burns. You guys know she good. She got some good stuff. Okay, I am a... I love books. I love journaling. I'm a nerd at heart. But anyway, we're going to get back on the topic. All right. I got stressed out. And a lot of people did. When they learned about the law of attraction, they probably got just as stressed out as, as I did. Okay. First of all, I learned about scripting. And my biggest thing was I went and grabbed one of these. I know. It's going to be funny. It's all I have. I'll grab one of these. And I was like, okay, let me start this scripting or whatever. It doesn't matter what I use. Okay. Uh-uh that was not i didn't know back then though i didn't know that what you wrote in mattered i didn't know that it would matter to me so to say and how i would deliver um the actual results so for example um with law of attraction i got stressed out i felt like every time that i got stressed out or i had a negative thought or i did a negative thing that i was basically effing up my actual 3d reality but really the only thing that really messes up your 3d reality to where you don't get what you want is literally especially with, with your sp is literally when you are when you are in a battle mentally my battle was my belief system number one but not even just that it was also everything i was taught over the years uh learning that life is hard learning that you have to go through hell and back to get what you want like i had to relearn pretty much and so that was difficult that was difficult and not allowing yourself to feel is not the way to go like uh you're human you're going to get mad you're going to get upset you're going to have days where you're sad you're going to have days where you want someone to show up for you the way you want them to show up and when they don't show up you might be depressed you might be sad you are still human okay and so the law of attraction isn't about go be non-human the law of attraction is about you know you are what you attract so what are you losing you know what i'm saying like it's hard it's hard getting your heart broken it's hard having negative emotions but you can get through this you can still get what you want even through negative emotions and here's how i know Think of the times when you were younger, maybe your first crush or maybe your first love or the person who took your virginity, whatever it is for you, right? What do you recall from the memory? Now for everyone it's different. So I understand if you were in something traumatic, that's not what I'm talking about, but I'm really referring to like a first love kind of thing. You probably had felt attracted to this person. You probably like certain things about them. Uh, you fell in love, right? And so in that energy, you were positive majority of the time. You were happy. You were in the cupcake stage. And so what did your person do too? They felt that too, because you felt that. And so here you guys are sharing each other's emotions, sharing each other's feelings, being there for one another, but at the same time, creating memories, creating more to love each other with until you guys get through your first fight and things like that, right? And so the, the kicker is, 
even then you were able to manifest a good relationship. Even then you were able to manifest the fruition of wanting that relationship to flourish, right? And so what we have to realize is that no matter what we feel, no matter what we do, everything is a byproduct of how you think the most, okay? That's why I love the law of assumption so much because it says what you assume the most is what creates. And so if your assumption stayed in doubt, fear, and anguish, like, oh my gosh, is this person gonna break up with me? Is this person gonna cheat on me? Is this person love me? If you were 90% in that type of thought process, then of course the relationship will fail because you were more worried about it failing, which actually caused it to fail. But let's say you were the person to say, you know what? I know I'm having a negative thought about my SP right now. I'm allowing myself to feel what I need to feel, get mad, get irritated, get sad, and then come back to the situation a little bit differently. And when I say differently, I mean people forget the 3D action that's required with manifesting sometimes as well. Now, don't get me twisted. There's not any real 3D action that you have to take that's going to be different from the next. What I, When I say 3D action, I'm talking about the situations and incidents where you know for a fact that you 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 and this person have been going back and forth you guys have not been on the same page i highly encourage you to stand on your boundaries i highly encourage you to still uh respect yourself and respect the relationship i'm not by any means saying that to invalidate your own feelings or not to argue or anything of that nature but what i am saying is that you will be helping yourself trust and believe you will be helping yourself by thinking more before you speak understanding that if someone's doing something you have the power to change it you do not have to continue to give them free will there's not a person or soul in my life in my circle that i have not molded into something i wanted them to be it's just the truth i don't get loved for no reason i i actively pursue whatever issue i see in my mind that this person is doing that i don't like i just feel formulate an affirmation and then i say to myself throughout that day while i'm talking to this person or not that they're gonna do what i want them to do and so where we go wrong when it comes to manifesting our sp in the right way to properly do that is to just remind yourself that everything is you pushed out your fears will manifest and so instead of staying in a negative depressed mindset about your person try your best to come at it in a more positive optimistic outlook and if you can't then you need to change the affirmation you've been using so if the affirmations you're using are not working or they feel like they're not changing the 3d then that is the universe that's your higher self telling you you need to switch it up switch it up and and divert your focus the only wrong way to manifest is to do the opposite of what you want to do I'm going to say that again. The only wrong way to manifest is doing the opposite of what you want to do. So what that means is when I was trying to manifest and I was forcing scripting and I was forcing robotic affirming or I was forcing anything of that matter, whatever technique, it never felt like genuinely like the, the situation would change. But when I started to realize, like, listen, there's no right or wrong way to manifest. If I feel like scripting today and don't feel like robotic affirming tomorrow, that's fine. At least I'm doing something. If I feel like listening to subliminals today and taking a break from robotic affirming, then that's fine. The point of the matter is actively always pursue the best route for you and your person. And so if you have doubts that come up, do not pay so much attention to those doubts put more energy towards solutions. So if your person is going back and forth with you and bickering and you want the bickering to stop, then start thinking of your person in the light that you already thought of them before. That's the whole situation. That's how you guys got into this in the first place. There was love there. There was confessing there. There was, I wanna be with you conversations there. So all your brain, body, soul, mind, and spirit is trying to connect is those dots again. That's it. So wash away the anguish, wash away the arguing, wash away the bickering. And if you want to properly manifest your SP, focus on the things you love about your SP. And then you'll see the things that you love about them show and they'll shift and it'll make you feel better too while you're at it and you deserve to feel better. Remember that, okay? So the only wrong way to manifest, right, is the opposite of what you want to do. So remember that, okay? That's the only wrong way. <laughs> the right way is to actively pursue what you feel like doing in the moment, but manifesting consistently enough to where you can actually see physical change. 
all right if this was helpful let me know in the comment section below if you guys have not got the manifest everything journal check it out the link is in the description it's also on amazon so if you guys want dibs on this yeah check it out it's also on my website at simplicitysim.com if you guys want to book a session with me so you can start manifesting much faster look at the link in the description below at simplicitysim.com you can book a manifest with ease session and we can get you going on manifesting your desires okay also i am doing vip soldier me light memberships uh in the link description below so if you guys want to join you will have access to all 12 part series and member only content and so much more so check that out as well sending you guys so much love and so much light and as i always tell you guys go get your moolah and go get your boo bye